women my sister is fashion there are certain clothes that the devil has made for women that you cannot wear underwear in them if you wear underwear it is going to kill the style sister do you know how do you know how decapitated a man is when a woman of his generation is walking out butt naked with toto nini on the street one in asia one in america one in africa do you know how much the bible said if your eyes make you sin take it out tell that to your sons but the problem is that the whole generation behaves the same like that. My sister, these days, if you go in Asian culture, you find one Asian child who wear a top up to like this. You find one Asian child who walk butt naked. If you go to black communities, you find one black child who have tattoo and breast out like this and one shot. It at the moment the demon of Jezebel, this spirit is working around the whole world. We cannot even call it out for nations, my sister. But the problem is the I'm woman also, and also, women. We are pra really practicing nice witchcraft. To chat with you and we are practicing I witchcraft. If I, you know, no, sis, you don't worry because look, channel, we have I, missed I that now. Don't yeah. don't worry. We have passed that now Listen. because it has even brought something greater. Women, if we gave each other time, even when something starts bad. God will never allow us to fight. He will always change it. Right now we are sharing wisdom, my sister. Let's give the story to God. I you and me, we are sisters. He said, our men nowadays don't allow, don't need to be manipulated. They, they sin before they are manipulated. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. And you know why they sin? The biggest witchcraft that is being participated around the world is the fact that a woman doesn't walk with underwear. You know that there's a lot of disturbing witchcraft that is happening to your generation spiritually. Because when a woman goes naked, in fact, imagine if they are walking naked in different nations, we are not seeing it. Let's take it to South Africa where you even have Zodwa Wabantu, who does a show where she opens her Toto, and all the people, they get to see inside the Toto. Do you know that every eye that is seeing Toto is seeing hell? Inviting demons to come in. So I'm sorry, the problem is the women and the problem that woman doesn't want to repent. And that's why the, it is the Jezebel spirit in a woman that the Lord killed a woman terrible. It is a woman that the devil had to manipulate to get a man to be manipulated. And unfortunately, the women of our generation don't want to change. That's where the biggest problem is. A man is going to accept whatever a woman saves him, my sister. Because there's, okay, but you see, Apostle, when, when God punished the, the, them, he punished both the snake, the serpent, he punished the woman, and he punished the man. So exactly. everybody has to get to, a fair share. In the and, and look at how the man, the man showed to God that he repented. The man tried even in the life after Adam and Eve did that. It shows in the Bible that Adam went back to start fearing God again. He feared God. He went back, you hear in the Bible, but we don't hear that the woman went back to fearing God. We know that women fear God. The reason why men fight us and say we cannot be called apostles and servants of God is because of what? That spirit of, re that's the reason why God cannot even trust us so much, my sister. And that's the, look, our generation, young girls do not even understand what their worth is. Because it's a generation of decapitation. This generation needs deliverance and it starts with the women. And women, I'm telling you fellow women, we are the ones who build nations, not men. A man will listen to you and that's why if a man marries a new woman, if he tells that stepmother, this is my child, you will not do anything. The woman will not do anything. If a man is weak, he marry a new woman and bring that woman inside his house and they start beating the children, he don't say anything. Now beat, he go beat. I'm coming from a story where my stepmother came in and she found us already born. My papa said to my stepmother, if you beat this, my children, I go cook you, I'll bury you myself. My mama was never a terrible stepmother for beating me. In fact, we are more troublesome for the woman than she was troublesome for us. So women, the same thing... You are, you are breaking, CC. You are breaking. Say it again. Okay, he said, It will be your, you alone on the judgment day. Don't count on other people to keep you from sinning. That's what I, exactly. So and that's why you have, it's a choice for a man. That's why it's a choice for a man. And that's why when it comes to marry, it's either they will marry based on appearance or they will marry based on building a home. And I'm telling you the truth, appearance does not build a home. So the best thing that I can tell women right now, 
whatever we are, if we want men of our generation to change, we have to go back to, to the foundation with the women. Because I know this. If you marry a man, it don't matter if he's black or white, Indian or Asian. My brothers and sisters, when a woman loves something, the man go learn to love it. When a woman hates something, the man go learn to hate it. When the wife hates the mother-in-law, the husband is going to have a problem with his mother. So it starts with us women. What are we giving men out here? Our standard is so low that we cannot even pick a man out here in our generation, my brothers. The stand, my sisters, the standard of a woman is too low. The standard of a woman in our generation is too low, my sisters. It is too low because it is based on nothing with substance, caliber, or character, but it is all based on vanity. Big booby, big nyash, big titty, big lip, more money. So even them, if the women in our generation want more money, what type of man are we going to attract? It will be 4199 satanists and criminals because they want to enter to get in between that niash so they will do anything and everything to get into the niash of the women they want so meaning the women of our generation the fact that we have put so much pressure on men actually we are killing ourselves these men are so angry they're like oh yeah you don't want me to take you to kfc for a date you want me to take you to hilton's okay i will take you to hilton's but out of the pain that we have caused men they are becoming ritualists criminals rapists pedophilias shrinists who made the man become like that and i'm telling you as long as women will not see where our problem is we go wait for jesus to come we need to ask the lord for forgiveness because we have helped the men of our generation to kill themselves this is a generation where you have the, the men are going to work to give us money so we can go under plastic surgery Plastic surgery, sister, okay, men are going to work. You know in America, Jesus is seeing just America alone. You know how many men are going to work so that they can help that woman to fund a BBL. This is a generation that has made their men work for BBL. So if it's a generation of women that want everything with man, what type of men are we going to attract? I'm sorry, based on our own interests, likes and loves, we can never have a man who has substance. That's why God is showing us. Because these days, a man is not determined by character or fear of God in him. It is based on money. It is based on the things that we can see. Who has made a man like that? We. Because our mamas, they used to save our papas. Apart from but, apart from, but the, the, not, the woman standing on the street did not pull the man to, him, to herself. Is the man searching for something in the bead that she no in the old days? That's why no, see, see, lie, 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 lie. And the word of God taught us to know the word of God made us to know that we have to apply self control. It's one of the no, of see, the see, that you can have self control is not just for the woman, it's also for the man. But you can have self control. Look, my, my sister, you will never find a man selling Gucci, you won't find a man selling his body, he goes to buy. If there was nowhere to buy it, yes, because it has because you see how in low America, we have become. They do, they sell their of course, because we have become low they now, do. and the men who sell their bodies will never tell their families that they do that. It's because they are desperate. All for the love of money, my sister. The answer is still one. But at the end of the day, it is the woman who goes to stand on the road to sell her body. So the problem doesn't start with a man. The problem is that the shape where a man can lay his sperm and sleep with is a woman. Me, I'm angry with us women, not men. Not men, because I know, my sister, just like interracial marriages, a lot of black women, my sister, the reason why we don't have luck in our nations and our lives is because, sorry, my sisters, a lot of us who are with white men, we come from poor ghetto backgrounds. When we marry white men, we want to act like we don't come from Africa here. If our white men were taught our culture, the type of way we live, how we are for unity as family, how we feed each other, how for us it's important family more than money, a white man will accept it because I'm married to a white man who knows that I'm a black woman and really black village woman who loves her family, her father, her mother's children. 
But when we come, it is the woman who makes the man. My sisters, I say Africa has not developed because the woman that came from Africa to here, she did not do her job. Even the ones who are married to the most richest white men, they want to be fake. So we are leading the world. And at the moment, it's not a man leading the world. It is a woman. Then, the TV went on. Look, I'm calling Papa Rukafira for nothing. Wait. It is us women. We women are leading men. One second, let me, let me switch off this thing that went on. Sister K, let me come. Let me switch this thing off. It went on automatic on, forgive me. So it is the women. I'm sorry, even my children. My children, they see every man marries the type of inspiration that he got from his mother. And most of our generation, like you and me, Sister K, we are still rooted with that fear of God in us. But the new generation we are making now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, when you see women, the type of men they are describing they want to marry, they sound and they look almost gay and straight. Sorry. Women, we want our men to do eyebrow. Women want our men to do nail. If a woman is going to play with her husband like their sister, sister, don't be complaining if you find him wearing your bra and your underwear the knees day. And also, if we don't respect them as men, the woman of our generation is a slick, filthy mouth. If a man doesn't have money, oh my God, I know there are husbands out here who their wives talk to them like dogs. This generation doesn't know how to nature a man when it comes to women. We are too bitter. And the, the fact that if he doesn't give us money, yeah, the women who have love language in their mouth, even the influencers online, yeah, they share me when I'm seeing them. They are showing their friend that the nurturing love language with their husband is money, everything money, money. When you see women posting their husband here, so the women who are poor, actually, they talk to their husband. When they get angry, they say, who are you? Can you not see online that Sister K's husband bought a car? You useless man. This, the women of our generation are telling men, your friends, your friends, your friends have money. What kind of man are you? The women of our generation, the way we talk to a man, I'm telling you the truth. That's why we have made the man so bitter. You think side chick was meant because of what? Side chick was meant because a woman stopped being the woman that she needs to be. Most of us, we are dealing with such is our own mouth. Our own mouth. And one thing that we have to understand the difference between us and men. And I'm not standing up for I, men. I'm speaking from a woman's point of view as a woman. Apostle, yes, side chick is not even, side chick is not even an issue. In the sense that we in our, in Africa, you know, there's polygamy. Uh -huh. The men have the right to marry so many so, for so many reasons. Mm, the not man everybody may not have a son from a first wife, and mm -hmm. he said he want to have a son, and he will go and marry another one. And some of them who have money can marry two, three, four, five. But my so sister, that, for children, is is <laughs> that for children is ignorance. That for children is ignorance. But know? most people have side jigs not because they can't have children, my sister. Because most of us as wives, we have not accepted that our tone and the way we treat this person we are married to actually kills him from the inside. And my sister, men don't complain and talk like us. But the apostle is they not don't. women. Look at you. You are having a lovely marriage. My sister.